Hey guys, welcome back to another very interesting video of our channel Versatile Knowledge and in this very important video, I'll be telling you guys how you can register for the COVID-19 vaccination on the Arogya Setu application. So you can use the Arogya Setu application itself to register for your COVID-19 vaccine. New phase of COVID-19 vaccination has started in India. Vaccination includes two important conditions that is in the age of 45 to 59, if there are any comorbid conditions or there is any health conditions and with the help of the doctor certificate, you can get the COVID-19 vaccination and for the people above the age of 60 years there is no need of any certification or something you can directly schedule your vaccination and get it so i'll be explaining in this video how you can schedule your vaccination for people above 45 and also for the people above 60 years if you are someone in that uh, age range who are watching this video you can watch closely and you can understand the process easily if you are someone uh, younger to that age you can just uh, register for vaccination for your parents or for your grandparents let's straight away go ahead and check out the process of covid 19 vaccine registration second point is i'll also be answering some of the frequent ask questions about the COVID-19 vaccine. I'll be actually recording the screen of my smartphone right from the process of installing the application to the registration of vaccine itself. So for this process, first what we have to do is, as you can see, I'm recording my screen over here. First thing what you have to do is you have to just go ahead and open the Arogya Setu application on your smartphone. Just go ahead and open the Arogya Setu application. If you're already a user of Arogya Setu application, then it's fine. Otherwise, if you are not using the Arogya Setu application, you will have to register your device for the first time. So it needs all these permissions. You have to actually go ahead and give the permission as you can see just click on allow and just click on allow and you have to enter your mobile number over here and once you enter your mobile number you will get an otp and the registration process process will complete as you can see i have just opened the arog setu application and here we have the normal tabs i am not going to uh, check the normal tabs because it is very common and let's go to the vaccination tab over here in the vaccination tab this is the most important part guys let's go ahead and enter our mobile number in the vaccination tab and later we will verify the mobile number again we'll get an otp for the verification for vaccine registration so my OTP OTP verification has been completed for my vaccine registration. As you can see, there are important sections that is present on the screen. Here it says a user can register maximum of four beneficiaries. So that means you can register for the vaccination of four different people. In your account, you can register for four different people for vaccination. So let's go ahead and select the type of the photo ID card that you need to bring to the vaccination center. Whichever photo ID card you select here, you need to take the same photo ID card for verification during the vaccination process. So these are the accepted uh, verification methods that is present. Other card driving license, PAN card, passport, pension book, NPR smart card or voter ID card. These are the different types of documents that is accepted for the verification of vaccination. Let me go ahead and select the PAN card over here. Photo ID, number, beneficiary name, year of birth and gender must be the same as available on PAN card is something that is present. Let me go ahead and enter the PAN card number over here. So as you can see, I have actually set all the uh, information that is present over here and I'll select the date of birth and go to the submit over here. Once we go to the submit button, as you can see, it has given this prompt and individual will be linked to this respect mobile number let me go ahead and select the beneficiary name so for this person we are registering the vaccination on the Arogya Setu application so let me go ahead and select the schedule vaccination in the schedule vaccination you are having two important methods if you want to uh, you know get a free vaccination then also it is possible if you want to get a paid vaccination then also it is possible let me select the paid vaccination over there and also I will select the pin code guys and let me send the find vaccine center so these are the different vaccination centers that is present over here if you want to enter a different pin code that is also possible find vaccination center as you can see these are the different vaccination centers that is available let me select something for this video purposes i'm just selecting random hospital over here let me go ahead and select this calendar that is present so this is the calendar that is present guys and you can select any date and set so you can click on check availability as you can see there is the availability is present over here the nearest date that is available for vaccination is 4th april 2021 forenoon or afternoon so you can just select forenoon or afternoon guys previous week there is no slots available next week the slots are available and just select for proceed as you can see if you hit confirm appointment what happens is uh, your vaccine registration will get confirmed so this is the whole process of uh, registering for covid 19 vaccination so this is for someone who is above the age of 60 years so now let me just show you guys how you can do this same process for people somewhere in the age of 45 to 59 again you have to enter the mobile number over here in the vaccination tab and once you enter the mobile number you will get an otp and do the verification as you can see now what i'm doing is in this time i'm selecting a person who is in the age range of 45 to 59 and also I'm selecting the method of Aadhaar card so that you guys will be knowing what happens if you select Aadhaar card or what happens if you select PAN card. So both process I'll be showing you guys now. I'll be doing this whole process complete and let me just continue once this is completed. So as you guys can see over here in the screenshot, it says at the moment, the citizens of age group from 45 to 60 are allowed to register for vaccination only if they are having comorbidities. So pre-existing medical conditions. So what happens is if you just select I'm having comorbidities and I agree to carry medical certificate indicating my comorbidities 
comorbidity condition to the vaccination center so that means if you are entering someone who is in the age of 45 to 60 you will have to carry a medical certificate which will actually give the proof that you are having some medical conditions and you need the vaccination so this is the whole process of uh, registering for covid 19 vaccine guys when you enter and go ahead and select the option rest of the process is similar to what we had done in the previous step so let me go ahead and schedule vaccine over here and enter uh, the pin code that is present as you can see there are a lot of vaccination center that is present in and around the, the place that i have entered and also i can select the date you can see that availability is present over here nearest date that is available is 1st april 2nd april and 4th april so you can just select and go to proceed and confirm the appointment when you hit on confirm appointment then your slot will be booked over there this is the process of registration for covid 19 vaccination using the arogya setu application so now what i'll do is i've actually written down some frequently asked questions about the covid 19 vaccination over here and i'll be actually answering some of those questions if you are above the age of 60 years uh, then the application will not ask you any questions directly the registration will be completed for covid vaccination and if you are from the age of 45 to 59 you will have to show the medical certificate for that so second important question is when is the second vaccination that should be done and should be registered for second vaccination or something uh, the answer is when you register for the vaccination you will get a date so for example if you get on 1st of april now generally the second vaccination will be from 28 days or four weeks from the first vaccine it is not something like you will have to get on the 28th day only it is not like that the second vaccination will be four to six weeks from the first vaccination third question is what we have to do for people under the age of 45 in this phase of coronavirus vaccination only people above the age of 45 is eligible for vaccination under the age of 45 generally the immunity levels are uh, quite good is what the general assumption is so that's why for those people the vaccination rollout has not yet started and the fourth question is is the vaccination in the type of injection is it in the type of some syrup or some tablet so as of now uh, any nasal or syrup based vaccination is not yet released uh, for general public as of now it is just an injection you might have already seen in newspapers or you might have already seen in the media so it is an injection type vaccine and whichever the vaccine that you are getting for the first time that is serum institute covishield or bharat biotech covaxin so these are the two vaccinations that is available in the country whether you get covishield or covaxin will depend upon the availability in that particular center where your appointment is scheduled whichever vaccine that you will be getting for the first time on the day that you go will be the same vaccine you will get for the uh, second time that you go so two vaccines are mandatory next question that people have asked is is it mandatory to get covid 19 vaccination it is as simple as if you need to be immune from covid 19 or if you need to get immunity levels high for coronavirus and you need to be safe then covid 19 vaccine is very important if you need to get immune you need to get vaccination so guys the next question was how much percentage will it improve the immunity of a human being after getting the covid 19 vaccination so answer to this is after the first vaccination generally the immunity level improves from uh, somewhere between 15 to 20 percent depending upon the body's natural or organic immunity as well so upon the body's natural or organic immunity 15 to 20 percent improvement will be given so that is what it is said in the media or that is what it is present in the uh, articles guys i will also be linking some of the articles which actually says this information in the description below this is not something that i am making claims so after you get the second vaccine the immunity levels for coronavirus this strain of coronavirus will increase um, by somewhere around 85 to 90 percent so these are some of the frequently asked questions about the covid 19 vaccination guys and this is the whole video about how you can register for covid 19 vaccination using the arogya setu application so if you guys have liked this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe to the channel for more interesting content like this one thank you for watching guys